You've written hit songs for other people. You gave the Rolling Stones their first hit song. You're a generous human being. The thing is, the scene was generous. We were all so excited that we were down in London and we all got recording contracts, you know, so there wasn't like any animosity. I mean, you know, there is a rivalry, but it's not a bad one. It's kind of, it's creative. It's a good thing, I think, you know. We would ring up the Stones and say, when's your single coming out? They say, oh, June 30th. They say, okay, well, we'll put ours July 30th. But it's funny. Wow. I did the Rolling Stone cover with Taylor Swift, and she just emailed me recently, and she said, I wasn't telling anyone, but I've got another album. And she said, so I was going to put it out on my birthday, which I think was the 10th. And then she said, but I found out you were going to put it out on the 10th. So I moved to the 18th. And then she found out we were coming out on the 18th. So she moved back to the 10th. So, I mean, you know, people do keep out of each other's way. Right. No, that's nice. It's a nice thing to do, you know. Have you ever written songs for people and not taken any credit? In other words, would we be shocked to learn today that you wrote a song for such and such and it actually became a hit and you never, ever even mentioned that you helped out on that or wrote it? I used the pseudonym Bernard Webb. So I wrote a song for Peter and Gordon and I've, I've used a couple of pseudonyms, but it becomes known. It gets out. Right. You know, you know yep. so they had a hit with it and they said, oh, it was just Bernard Webb. And it kind of leaked out that it was me. 